Hey guys, welcome to my muscle flash tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to do muscle flashes. Alright, first what you're going to want to do is drag your footage into the project area. Make it a new composition. And find the area you want. Alright, so this is what my video looks like. Okay, so now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna go to want to go to the exact spot before he shoots the gun. So I guess here would be okay. And import your muscle flesh. Now some elements may be pre-keyed. Um, like it, it comes with the alpha channel, but some will come on a black background. Muzzle flashes. I'm gonna use a black background one for this one. So you bring this in and scale it down and set the blending mode to screen. So removes the black background and ro oops rotate it to where it fits it correctly. Put it in place and you know mess with it a bit till it looks like it's the right size. All right, once you have that, you're gonna wanna. Put the one muscle flash for one frame long, so it happens for one frame. Zoom in and there. And yeah. so going through it, looking through it right now. Looks looks pretty good. And now what you're going to want to do is import a smoke file, because smoke makes it look good. Like, you can have it just where it's smoke and no muscle flash or anything else, and it'll still look pretty real. Alright, so you find your smoke. I have a stock footage file where I keep all my stock footage. And... Smoke puff, stock footage. So you drag it in there, same thing for the muzzle flash, put the blending mode to screen, put it at the start of the frame where the muzzle flash begins, and you're going to want to cut off the first frame because that kind of counts, It the muzzle flash covers the first frame of it so you just like cut it off. Alright, so that's what we have. You may want to rotate the smoke a bit. I get fit fine. I guess that's good. Alright. Alright, and once once you have all that, you're gonna want wanna have some environmental glow on it to make it even more realistic. So you're gonna wanna duplicate your footage and set the blending mode to add it makes everything brighter then you get the pen tool and just go around the edges of what would be affected for the light of the muzzle flesh just go around my part of my arm my other arm hand and I guess a bit of the gun so I guess I, that's good. And get the elliptical t tool and kind of draw around that. And you want to press F and fe feather up this to about you know 65 would be fine I guess. And for the second mask, the elliptical tool one, gonna turn want to turn that up like in the 200 like 230 something 
Alright, so. And you're going to want to put it for about two frames after the muscle flash. Not one frame, but two. So, get it there. Scoot it up there. And yeah, that's two frames there. So, this is what I have so far. And, uh, I have to mention that I got my smoke from Quarter Digital's Muscle Flash tutorial, so all credits to them. Probably see a little annotation right here for their Muscle Flash tutorial. Um, and if you're looking for a motion tracking for the smoke, if your smoke is like, you know, move, if your camera is handheld, moving around, and needs motion tracking, you might want to see their tutorial, because I am not good at motion tracking. As you can see, I have a pistol that is a gas blowback pistol. It's where the slide goes black back realistically like a real gun. See, it's like slide it back. It's, it's a good way to tell where your muscle flash should be on a good frame. Um, gas blowback pistols are usually in range from $70 to $120. They're pretty expensive. Don't throw them around as much. Those are for spring pistols and spring guns. You can also edit the slide going back for one frame. There's a tutorial on that for on videocopilot.net for their realistic gun blowback. So you might want to look for that. But gas blowback, getting buying gas blowback are much easier. But you know it costs money. So now when you're done, you can just render it out and export it to Sony Vegas or Premiere, Final Cut Pro, whatever you use. I use Sony Vegas Pro 10.0. Alright, so if you need a help, little help, just go to on the rendering, just go to Composition, Add to Render Queue, uh, base it, do lot, click Lossless, View for Windows. If you don't have the quick time just do video for windows as it is and make sure you do audio output if you want if you want the add audio output because I've sometimes forget to click that and the audio isn't there click OK save it to wherever you want I'm gonna save it to uh, After Effects Creations and just Muzzle flare. Save. Um, and click render. All right. Once you have your editing program loaded up, the, in this case it's uh Sony Vegas Pro 10. Press import media. So I'm going to go to After Effects Creations, click Muscle Flare. Taking a bit. Alright, so there it is. Alright, so this is what I have for my video. It might be hard to see on that small screen, but you'll see a full screen. In a sec. So once you have that, you can add your gun sound effects if you have some. You can go to findsounds.com. They have a mostly bad sounds, but some good. Okay, thanks for watching my tutorial, and here's what the final project looks like.